Thank you, President. My adjournment debate is for the Minister for the Roads and Road Safety. Uh, it feels like police have been battling hooning since the introduction of high-powered vehicles. Lives have been lost and even more have been ruined by accidents as a result of hooning. Our laws have been improving slowly over time. The crackdown on hoons over the last 10 years has given police tools to impound cars, issue large fines and more. Wide-ranging advertising coupled with police operations has seen these laws become infamous within the Victorian community. Unfortunately, at times, these laws do fall on deaf ears. Recently, I've been approached by a member of the Geelong community who has highlighted the issue of hoon events. There have been reports of hundreds of people attending organised events where they are encouraging risky behaviour. Currently, if the police attend and break up an organised event, the only people that can be charged with offences are those that are participating in the hooning in their vehicle. However, this is not the case in Bringbank Council in Melbourne. The Council has created their own local laws that outlaw the attendance at hoon events in their LGA. The Council had been having many issues with large-scale hoon events, but nothing had been done in state law to rectify this, so they took matters into their own hands. To address this, the Council passed two new local laws, including a person must not participate in, encourage or attend a hoon event without lawful excuse, and the driver of a motor vehicle must not stop or park in close proximity to a hoon event without lawful excuse. These have been extremely successful in reducing hoon events in their LGA. The Council have made police authorised officers and are able to enforce these laws. If you are found to be in breach of either of these laws, you'll be fined eight penalty units. I've been told that one particular hoon event in Brimbank saw more than 300 fines issued. $80,000 in fines were paid within two months and not one has been successfully contested in court. Since the introduction of these laws, hoon events have decreased in Brimbank. However, there have been anecdotal reports of hoon events now happening in the surrounding LGAs. Put simply, these laws are working. News reports from early this year have indicated that other LGAs are considering introducing their own local laws to combat hoon events. However, the last thing anyone wants is different road laws across each council. The best way forward is to introduce statewide hoon event laws to stop people from attending and encouraging these dangerous events. How many more people need to get hurt before we introduce more, more laws? Therefore, the action that I seek from the Minister is to investigate the feasibility of new statewide hoon event laws to protect lives, protect property and public infrastructure. And I would appreciate being updated on any outcomes of such investigation. Mr.